CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 2 Fractions and Decimals Page 42 2.4 Division of Fractions John has a paper strip of length 6 cm. He cuts this strip in smaller strips of length 2 cm each. You know that he would get 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 strips. Page 43 John cuts another strip of length 6 cm into smaller strips of length 3 upon 2 cm each. How many strips will he get now? He will get 6 divided by 3 upon 2 strips. A paper strip of length 15 upon 2 cm can be cut into smaller strips of length 3 upon 2 cm each to give 15 upon 2 divided by 3 upon 2 pieces. So, we are required to divide a whole number by a fraction or a fraction by another fraction. Let us see how to do that. 2.4.1 Division of whole number by a fraction Let us find 1 divided by 1 upon 2. We divide a whole into a number of equal parts such that each part is half of the whole. The number of such half, that is, 1 upon 2 parts would be 1 divided by 1 upon 2. Observe the figure, figure 2.11. How many half parts do you see? Figure 2.11 In this figure, a complete circle is divided into two parts. There are two half parts. So, 1 divided by 1 upon 2 is equal to 2. Also, 1 multiplied by 2 upon 1 is equal to 1 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 2. Thus, 1 divided by 1 upon 2 is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 upon 1. Similarly, 3 divided by 1 upon 4 is equal to number of 1 upon 4 parts obtained when each of the 3 whole are divided into 1 upon 4 equal parts, which is equal to 12, from figure 2.12. In this figure, three complete circles each are divided into four parts. Observe also that 3 multiplied by 4 upon 1 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 12. Thus, 3 divided by 1 upon 4 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 upon 1, which is equal to 12. Find in a similar way 3 divided by 1 upon 2 and 3 multiplied by 2 upon 1. Page 44 Reciprocal of a Fraction the number 2 upon 1 can be obtained by interchanging the numerator and denominator of 1 upon 2 or by inverting 1 upon 2. Similarly, 3 upon 1 is obtained by inverting 1 upon 3. Let us first see about the inverting of such numbers. Observe these products and fill in the blanks. 
7 multiplied by 1 upon 7 is equal to 1. 1 upon 9 multiplied by 9 is equal to dash. 2 upon 3 multiplied by 3 upon 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 upon 3 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 6 upon 6 equal to 1. 5 upon 4 multiplied by 4 upon 5 is equal to dash. 2 upon 7 multiplied by dash is equal to 1. Dash multiplied by 5 upon 9 is equal to 1. Multiply 5 more such pairs. The non-zero numbers whose product with each other is 1 are called the reciprocals of each other. So, reciprocal of 5 upon 9 is 9 upon 5 and the reciprocal of 9 upon 5 is 5 upon 9. What is the reciprocal of 1 upon 9? 2 upon 7? You will see that the reciprocal of 2 upon 3 is obtained by inverting it. You get 3 upon 2. Think, discuss and write. 1. Will the reciprocal of a proper fraction be again a proper fraction? 2. Will the reciprocal of an improper fraction be again an improper fraction? Therefore, we can say that 1 divided by 1 upon 2 is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 upon 1, which is equal to 1 multiplied by reciprocal of 1 upon 2. 3 divided by 1 upon 4 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 upon 1, which is equal to 3 multiplied by reciprocal of 1 upon 4. 3 divided by 1 upon 2 is equal to dash, which is equal to dash. So, 2 divided by 3 upon 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by reciprocal of 3 upon 4, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 upon 3. 5 divided by 2 upon 9 is equal to 5 multiplied by dash, which is equal to 5 multiplied by dash. Page 45 Thus, to divide a whole number by any fraction, multiply that whole number by the reciprocal of that fraction. Try these. Find 1. 7 divided by 2 upon 5. 2. 6 divided by 4 upon 7. 3. 2 divided by 8 upon 9. While dividing a whole number by a mixed fraction, first convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction and then solve it. Thus, 4 divided by 2, 2 upon 5 is equal to 4 divided by 12 upon 5, which is equal to dash. Also, 5 divided by 3, 1 upon 3 is equal to 5 divided by 10 upon 3, which is equal to dash. Try these. Find 1. 6 divided by 5, 1 upon 3. 2. 
7 divided by 2 4 upon 7 2.4.2 Division of a fraction by a whole number What will be 3 upon 4 divided by 3? Based on our earlier observations, we have 3 upon 4 divided by 3 is equal to 3 upon 4 divided by 3 upon 1 which is equal to 3 upon 4 multiplied by 1 upon 3 equal to 3 upon 12 equal to 1 upon 4. So, 2 upon 3 divided by 7 is equal to 2 upon 3 multiplied by 1 upon 7 equal to dash. What is 5 upon 7 divided by 6, 2 upon 7 divided by 8. While dividing mixed fractions by whole numbers, convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions. That is, 2, 2 upon 3 divided by 5 is equal to 8 upon 3 divided by 5 is equal to dash. 4, 2 upon 5 divided by 3 is equal to dash is equal to dash. 2, 3 upon 5 divided by 2 is equal to dash is equal to dash. 2.4.3 Division of a fraction by another fraction. We can now find 1 upon 3 divided by 6 upon 5. 1 upon 3 divided by 6 upon 5 is equal to 1 upon 3 multiplied by reciprocal of 6 upon 5, which is equal to 1 upon 3 multiplied by 5 upon 6, which is equal to 5 upon 18. Similarly, 8 upon 5 divided by 2 upon 3 is equal to 8 upon 5 multiplied by reciprocal of 2 upon 3, which is equal to dash. And 1 upon 2 divided by 3 upon 4 is equal to dash. Try these. Find 1. 3 upon 5 divided by 1 upon 2. 2. 1 upon 2 divided by 3 upon 5. 3. 2 1 upon 2 divided by 3 upon 5. 4. 5 1 upon 6 divided by 9 upon 2. Page 46. Exercise 2.4. 1. Find 1. 12 divided by 3 upon 4. 2. 14 divided by 5 upon 6. 3. 8 divided by 7 upon 3. 4. 4 divided by 8 upon 3. 5. 3 divided by 2 1 upon 3. 6. 5 divided by 3, 4 upon 7. 2. Find the reciprocal of each of the following fractions. Classify the reciprocals as proper fractions, improper fractions and whole numbers. 1. 3 upon 7. 2. 5 upon 8, 3, 9 upon 7, 4, 
6 upon 5 5 12 upon 7 6 1 upon 8 7 1 upon 11 3 find 1 7 upon 3 divided by 2 2 4 upon 9 divided by 5 3 6 upon 13 divided by 7 4 4 1 upon 3 divided by 3 5 3 1 upon 2 divided by 4 6 4 3 upon 7 divided by 7 4. Find 1. 2 upon 5 divided by 1 upon 2. 2. 4 upon 9 divided by 2 upon 3. 3. 3 upon 7 divided by 8 upon 7. 4. 2 1 upon 3 divided by 3 upon 5 5 3 1 upon 2 divided by 8 upon 3 6 2 upon 5 divided by 1 1 upon 2 7 3 1 upon 5 divided by 1 2 upon 3 8 2 1 upon 5 divided by 1 1 upon 5 2.5 How well have you learnt about decimal numbers? You have learnt about decimal numbers in the earlier classes. Let us briefly recall them here. Look at the following table and Fill up the blank spaces. The columns of the table are hundreds, hundred, tens, ten, ones, one, tenths, one upon ten, hundredths, one upon hundred, thousandths, one upon thousand. Number two, five, three, one, four. 7 253.147 6 2 9 3 2 1 dash 0 4 3 1 9 2 dash dash 1 4 2 5 1 Five hundred fourteen point two five one two dash six five one two two hundred thirty six point five one two dash two dash five dash three seven hundred twenty four point five zero three six dash four dash two dash six hundred fourteen point three two six zero one zero five three zero dash page forty seven in the table you wrote the decimal number given its place value expansion. You can do the reverse too. That is, given the number, you can write its expanded form. For example, 253.417 is equal to 2 multiplied by 100 plus 5 multiplied by 10 plus 3 multiplied by 1 plus 4 multiplied by 1 upon 10 plus 
1 multiplied by 1 upon 100 plus 7 multiplied by 1 upon 1000. John has 15.50 rupees and Salma has 15.75 rupees. Who has more money? To find this, we need to compare the decimal numbers 15.50 and 15.75. To do this, we first compare the digits on the left of the decimal point, starting from the leftmost digit. Here, both the digits 1 and 5 to the left of the decimal point are same. So, we compare the digits on the right of the decimal point, starting from the tenths place. We find that 5 is less than 7. So, we say 15.50 is less than 15.75. Thus, Salma has more money than John. If the digits at the tenths place are also same, then compare the digits at the hundredths place, and so on. Now, compare quickly 35.63 and 35.67, 20.1 and 20.01, 19.3, and 29.36. While converting lower units of money, length and weight to their higher units, we are required to use decimals. For example, 3 paise is equal to 3 upon 100 rupees, which is equal to 0 0.03 rupees. 5 grams is equal to 5 upon 1000 kilogram, which is equal to 0 0.005 kilogram. 7 centimeters is equal to 0 0.07 meters. Write 75 paise is equal to dash rupees. 250 grams is equal to dash kilograms 85 centimeters is equal to dash meter we also know how to add and subtract decimals thus 21.36 plus 37.35 is adding 21.36 and 37.35 we get 58.71 What is the value of 0 0.19 plus 2.3? The difference 29.35 minus 4.56 is Subtracting 4.56 from 29.35 we get 24.79 Tell the value of 39.87 minus 21.98 Exercise 2.5 1. Which is greater? 1. 0 0.5 or 0 0.05 2. 0 0.7 or 0 0.5 3 7 or 0 0.7 4 1.37 or 1.49 5 2.03 or 2.30 6 0 0.8 or 0 0.88 2 Express as rupees using decimals. 1. 7 paise. 2. 7 rupees 7 paise. 3. 77 rupees 77 paise. 
4. 50 paise 5. 235 paise 3. 1. Express 5 centimeters in meter and kilometer. 2. Express 35 millimeters in centimeter, meter and kilometer. Page 48. 4. Express in kilograms. 1. 200 grams. 2. 3470 grams. 3. 4 kilogram 8 grams. 5. Write the following decimal numbers in the expanded form. 1. 20.03 2. 2.03 3. 200.03 4. 2.034 6. Write the place value of 2 in the following decimal numbers. 1. 2.56 2. 21.37 3. 10.25 4. 9.42 5. 63.352 7. Dinesh went from place A to place B and from there to place C. A is 7.5 kilometers from B and B is 12.7 kilometers from C. Ayub went from place A to place D and from there to place C. D is 9.3 kilometers from A and C is 11.8 kilometers from D. Who traveled more and by how much? 8. Shama bought 5 kilogram 300 gram apples and 3 kilogram 250 grams mangoes. Sarla bought 4 kilogram 800 gram oranges and 4 kilogram 150 gram bananas. Who bought more fruits? 9. How much less is 28 kilometers than 42.6 kilometers? You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production. Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India